Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I think this is my first video that I've done in my bedroom. <laughs> I put part one up. I was just downstairs making my coffee and got a view of the top of our last tree that's coming down. They took two trees down yesterday. As you saw in that video, if you watched it, <clears throat> they were down. It was quite impressive. I watched the first one go down from my bathroom window. That's the only window that views the back. And uh, I thought for sure it was going to land on the fence, that first one that they did. Because they did not top it like they did this one in my video. They just cut it from the bottom and it just crashed. It just crashed. But it didn't hit my fence. So anyway. So I'm in my room because it's loud back there, even if it's not dangerous to be on the deck, which I don't think it is the way they're taking that tree down. It certainly isn't. <clears throat> but they're going to be cutting up all that wood. It's really loud. So I decided to be up here with my coffee. Even though I was so bored in this room last night that I cleaned my bathroom. it was I mean, that's how desperate I was. I'm not in the mood to knit. I finished my book. I wasn't in the mood to read. And there's not much to do. I watched Christie's Floss Tube. And I I was just, it was just the way I was. You know, I was in a state. So I cleaned my bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to be dusting in here today. And then everything will be clean. <laughs> There's the silver lining. I'm cleaning my bathroom. I do not do it often enough. And you know, I mean, it really seriously only takes 20 minutes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But whatever, it's clean now. So, I forgot to tell you, I made gazpacho the other day. I peeled the peppers. I showed you the peppers. Did I show, you, show them to you that I was going to peel them for gazpacho? Maybe I didn't. Anyway, <clears throat> I did. I peeled the peppers. And I put in one tomato from our garden, and all the cucumbers that were in the gazpacho were from our garden. So that's fun. And it's delicious, and I've been having that. But it's fun to make things with the fruits of our labor. And there's another nice big cucumber ready to be made into cucumber salad. They're not coming. <clears throat> I mean, we did, we specifically planted pickling cucumbers, but. Apparently, we're not pickling them. We're just eating them. They're delicious. So, that's fun. Oh, what other news? I think that's the big news. I'm like a spacho. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed my book. It was called Mistborn by Brandon. Somebody starts with an S. I put those videos... That tree video up separately as like a preview or a part one because I'm still not <clears throat> going into Dennis's office so I can't edit so I can't put two videos together but I thought you might be interested in seeing the trees so there you go um, I did just take my temperature while I was downstairs making my coffee and it was 97.9 which is good Good enough that I brought some, a box of uh, COVID tests up here because I'm really ready to be out of this quarantine. I can tell you that. I can really be out of this quarantine. And it's so funny because, you know, I'm in a nice space and I'm comfortable. I got air conditioning and I'm able, and I've spent more time on my deck because of it than I would have normally. But, yeah. I'm ready to sit in my comfy chair. But I'm trying not to breathe too much air downstairs. We're really hard, working hard to keep Dennis from getting sick. And so far, so good. Knock on wood. And, uh, yeah. But, I... 
Started having our my symptoms on Thursday. It's Tuesday, so it's two weeks almost. We picked up our car yesterday. It looks good. We got all kinds of instructions on not to wash it or do anything to it for a month because it's got new paint on it, which made me laugh because they washed it. And I thought, I'm thinking that is literally the third time this car has been washed since we've owned it and we've had it for eight years. <laughs> so the chances of us washing this car in the next 30 days even without instructions, is very, very tiny. <laughs> but it's nice to have the car back. Although, you know, it worked out because I'm not going anywhere. I, that's the only driving I've done since, uh, you know, before I went to Florida. So in the last three weeks, I drove three miles back from the car place yesterday so there you go but nice to have it back it was very actually it turned out to be good luck that it was gone as long as it was because that meant our dog car was in the garage when the tree branches fell on top of the driveway otherwise it would have been damaged so it really all worked out pretty well Somebody called me. I didn't even notice who it was. All I saw was, your video will be stopped. <laughs> I'm like, what? Whoever it was, I'm not uh, talking. I, I'm sure it showed a number. I never answer anything on my cell phone that shows a phone number. If they're not on my cell phone, I don't answer. Anyway, that's it. I'm rambling now. I have no plans for today. <laughs> Not a single one. I have no idea. I'm going to be in my room, reading my phone. Maybe I'll get some gumption and start knitting. I don't know. I have no idea. It, but whatever it is, it's going to be boring. Oh my gosh, I was going crazy last night. I was like, you know it when I'm cleaning. You, I mean, that is not my normal reaction to boredom. <laughs> Dennis is going to have to take the dogs out on leashes so that they can pee because um, <clears throat> with the guys in the backyard... They can't just go out their door. So, anyway, I'm going to go. Please, please take good care of yourselves. Those of you who are still sick, I hope you're feeling better. Those of you who are, are wondering if you're getting sick, I hope you don't. And, uh, yeah, and all of us in between, us COVIDians, yeah. All you can do is do your best, but please be careful. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.